Welcome to Dare to Leap, a conversation and community supporting women just like you to gain the freedom, flexibility, and financial security you desire and deserve with CEO and founder of Virtual Expert Training, Kathy Guggenauer. This is Dare to Leap, and now here's the powerhouse tiara-wearing Kathy Guggenauer. Welcome, and you're going to love my guest today. Her name is Kelly Harris. She lives in Carthage, Missouri, which, hey, a fellow Missourian, (laughs) she lives with her husband. She and her husband have six children between them and 10 grandchildren. Can you believe that? You're going to want to go look at this on YouTube because you're not going to believe how young Kelly looks to have 10 grandchildren. Kelly has worked most of her life in some capacity, and she felt that there must be something more to life. When she began looking into working from home to supplement her income, she found my program. Yay, so glad Kelly found my program. Kelly signed up for a virtual expert training in May of 2019, and while working full-time at another job, She completed her training and became a certified virtual expert in January, 2020. Due to an extremely stretch, stretchful, stressful, it didn't make you stretch, did it? It made you stress. (laughs) Due to an extremely stressful situation in her job, Kelly began working hard to build her business and find a way to work from home. And leave that drama behind. Boy, we know about drama at J-O-B, don't we? There's always drama. And she was able to leave her job in July of 2020. And now works full-time from home and continues to add new clients. She is building her business and dreams. And she says she will never work outside her home again. Welcome, Kelly. Hi, Kathy. I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much for being willing to be interviewed on my podcast today. I'm super excited to get to talk with you. Yeah, me too. You made that sound so much better than I feel like I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I read what you wrote. So, oh, so um, yeah, and you know, uh, that's really interesting that you said that, though, because I have that same feeling sometimes when somebody else says the words, I'm like, dang, I'm pretty impressive. <laughs> so absorb that, Kelly. You're hey. impressive. All right, I will. Yeah. Yeah. And I see your certification back there on your wall. Um, your, your certified virtual expert. Um, yes. And I just framed. had to recertify. So it's in there yeah. somewhere being processed. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So anybody who's listening to this, if you're thinking, you know, how, if you're like looking for a VA or a virtual expert and you're thinking, how do I know if they're really good at what they do? Well, people in my program, they have to be recertified annually in order for us to know that they are still top of the game. And Kelly, Kelly is top of the game, I'm telling you. So Kelly, would you just start by telling people a little bit about your background, like what kind of work you've done and what made you decide to become a virtual expert? Well, I... It's going to sound like I've done a million different jobs, but I've done mostly office work all of my life in different kinds of aspects, Um, anywhere from computer things and uh, just the typical secretarial stuff. And I even worked for a fire damage restoration company, and I was their fire fire damage estimator for a while. And I really liked that job because it was out of the office mostly but anyway um (laughs) you know there's office drama in lots of places and so it was fun to get out and not have to deal with that but um so i i was just thinking first of all my biggest problem was that i had my husband retired and i didn't have insurance anymore because he carried our insurance and so i started having to pay for insurance and i could hardly afford it So I was looking for a way to try to help myself pay for this insurance, but, and I kept thinking, surely I don't have to get another job on top of the 40 hour a week job I already have. 
And so I just started looking on the internet and saw tons and tons of programs that, oh yeah, you can make million dollars doing this or that. And it just did not seem like something that was really true. And that, you know, I'm skeptical. We're from Zuri, right? And we, we show have me, the show, show me, me state. attitude. <laughs> so That's I was right. like, nah, Prove it to this me, isn't, baby. This isn't going to work. So then I, I don't even know how I just came across Kathy on the internet and I did her, she had a five day challenge and I watched all that and everything she said made perfect sense. And it was common sense. And she never said, Oh, you're going to make a million dollars. If you just follow my program, she said from the beginning that it was going to be hard work. And, and uh, that's what impressed me was how it was so, so real and, Kathy is the real deal, everybody. You guys, <laughs> she is, she's as real as it gets. So <laughs> I let it all hang out, don't I, Kelly? Yeah, you do. <laughs> That's what we love about you. You're oh, just a person. You. And hey, I don't know. I'm definitely a person. Yes. Um, human flaws and all. Thank you for saying that because I am really big on telling people the good, the bad, and the ugly about becoming a VA and a virtual expert, because just like any other business that you start, there's challenges. There's also lots of great stuff, but if you don't know what the challenges are, you might not make the right decision for yourself. So that's really why I tell the truth and include the good, the bad, and the ugly. And um, if you feel like it's right for you, great. And Kelly, I'm so glad you felt like it was right for you because I knew from the start that you were going to be amazing at this. Well, I, I taught, I looked into it and then I, I got a breakthrough session with Sharon Hartwick. And after I talked to her, I was thinking, I'm going to figure out how to get in this even because at first I thought, oh, I can't afford that. But then I thought, no, I can't afford not to. So I talked to my husband about it and he said, do whatever. And then for some odd reason, he had gotten a check from the VA I guess maybe we shouldn't say that he got a check from the VA and that's what I spent it on. <laughs> but anyway, he told me he'd pay for the class. And so it, it was just like, it was Providence. I think it was divine yes, intervention. It was. So. it was the VA paid for the VA. I love that. <laughs> I never <laughs> thought of it like that, but that's exactly right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Um, you know, I get about an email a week somebody thinking that my program is the veterans administration <laughs> and I have to let them know that that's not what I oh, do, no. but thanks you for don't want to be in. that. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so you're really lucky that you have such a supportive husband. How yeah, long have you he, guys been married? Oh gosh. I don't know. <laughs> that's terrible. He's the one who's to not know. You put me on the spot. 20. Let's see. We got married in 92, 20, 28 years I don't know somewhere in there oh, don't tell it. him I said oh my that. gosh yeah don't let your husband know that <laughs> don't tell your husband about the podcast interview to listen to. <laughs> he probably won't know how to listen to it anyway <laughs> oh god that's funny yeah you know, he thought my, my web page was like he couldn't scroll down any further on the one page he was on. And he goes, well, I, this is all there is. And I'm like, no, it's not. There's a lot of other tabs on there. Where? <laughs> anyway. Oh, <laughs> I'll that's be hilarious. In so I much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so never mind. We won't tell. Uh, yeah well my husband still really doesn't quite understand what I do like if he starts if like we were at a lawyer's office um drawing up a trust and the lawyer said so what is the business that you run and he looked at Tom it's a male lawyer looked at Tom right <laughs> male course. to male they always do and the my husband looked at the lawyer and said I don't know it's her business <laughs> <It's> her. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I was I loved that. I love well, that. Well, so I am lucky to have a supportive husband. He he was a sales he did we worked in sales for most of his career and then he's retired. Okay. So, he understands that you have to spend money to make money and all that kind of stuff. Yes. So, he's really good at saying, you know, you he said I trust your judgment and and you know what you can do and he he thinks I'm smart. So, <laughs> 
I'm glad you are smart, Kelly. And it is good when your spouse thinks you're smart. I love that. But guess what? I think you're smart too. And so do the people that you work for, or they wouldn't keep working with you. Well, that's true. (laughs) And not only are you smart, but you're also incredibly kind and generous. I try to be. It's it's really I feel like it comes very natural for you it does I'm a people person and I love people and really I don't hate anyone unless you make me hate you and that's sort of hard to do too (laughs) you have to go a long way to get there (laughs) but once you do that's it (laughs) I'm Ah, over it (laughs) Ooh, okay I gotcha yeah I, I always have a thing three strikes and you're out okay so I'll give you three chances to show me who you are and, you know, prove that you're not worth being in my life. Yeah. And then after three, you're out and I don't hate you. I'm not going to waste that time on that, but yeah, that's I'm not going to be around you either. Yeah, that's true. It's not yeah. worth it wasting the time on that. No, it's not. So what kind of um, tasks and services do you specialize in as a virtual expert, Kelly? Well, this is crazy, but I, st- I started off by, I, I like web design, and I found that out by one of my jobs. I had to make the website there, and I didn't know what it would be like, but I really enjoy it, and the, the thinking and the putting it all together like it's a puzzle, and yeah, so I have done some of that, but not as much as I kind of would like to, but that's okay, and because I like doing a variety, too, so... And then I also do some social media posting, which this is horrible to say, but I like posting other people's social media, just not mine. (laughs) Oh, you know what, Kelly? That's how the whole world is about everything. Yeah. I mean, think about it. It's fun to see everybody else's stuff. Just, you know what yours is and it's boring. It's like going to somebody's (laughs) house and looking in their closet or something or their drawers. I don't know. Yes. Yes. That, I mean, that is why hairdressers, they can make other people's hair look awesome, but their hair all often is a mess, right? Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. They don't have uh, time. Const- <laughs> that's right. probably why. Construction <laughs> workers, plumbers, people like that, they fix everybody else's stuff. And when they get home, they're like, I'm tired. I don't want to do that yeah, work, right? That's true. Web designers. Web designers, their website doesn't look as good, isn't as up to date as the websites that they create for other people. That is exactly right. And social media is the same way. So it's easier to promote someone else than it is to promote yourself. Yes, and that that is always true. Promoting other people comes way easier than promoting yourself because that's a hard thing. I don't know. I have trouble with it. And because you just don't feel like you're you want to brag on yourself that much either. So, but it's easy to brag on others. So I, yeah. I like doing it, but so I, I, you know, I'll just keep bragging on you, Kelly. <laughs> okay. I'll let you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, and my, so, my big, my biggest job though, which yeah. my 40 hour a week job happened through Kathy's group because there was a, a woman in our group, one of our fellow VEs and, I, she, I think she's gotten too busy to have finished all of her programming, but she's getting there. But uh, she needed some help in her office, and it's a doctor's office. And so she asked me, or she just asked in the group, I think, if people had medical experience. So I said that I did. And I started off by working on, I was off on Friday, so I worked for her on Fridays and did stuff. And it worked into my 40-hour-a-week job just by and that was the total surprise I mean that wasn't what I planned to do but I love it it's fun we we do everything just like we're in the doctor's office but only we're not so and I actually do work for him as an employee and I have insurance so I'm happy about all that wow that's awesome Kelly yeah that's congratulations and thank you for sharing that that came about as a result of the networking that we do in our group because our group is incredibly supportive of each other yes it is it really is and you you can if people know what you do in the group and so they'll help you you know if they see a a posting or something they will alert you to that and, and help you or recommend you and all kinds of stuff I mean you just might not you don't know where it's going to take you 
So, exactly so I'm right. also I'm also HIPAA certified, so that I can work in a any kind of a setting like a medical setting too. So it's, that's but great. I really do love it, and that's not anything I expected. So whenever you know, if you want to be a VA. You don't have to stay going in one direction. You can go in as many directions as you feel like going. It's it's fine. That's right. Because what were you doing before you became a VA? What kind of work? Who were you working with then? And what were you doing? I know, but the audience doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I <you> do know. <laughs> I was working at a church as the administrative assistant. And I did everything and worked almost seven. I was salaried. So don't ever be salaried, people. That's, just, that's <laughs> terrible. And I've been salaried before, but don't be salaried. It's bad. But I was working almost seven days a week. I'd have to go down there and do all the little odd jobs. And, you know, when somebody needed the church opened or whatever. And then it became a really bad situation with an old pastor retiring and a new one coming in and some hard feelings and some stealing and some lots of bad and that's bad, where bad the drama stuff. came in yeah and i became <laughs> i'm trying the to worst. talk Ke i'm trying to talk <laughs> kelly into writing a book about that whole scenario yeah. <laughs> yeah, i became the worst person in the world i was the hated person in Aww. the church because i told Aww. but i'm not i just can't this is the kind of person i am i can't sit there and watch some guy that he was the pastor and he was supposed to be above all that, but he stole from little old ladies, basically. And that just made Aww. me sick. Yeah. So, yeah. So good thing me. that you were the whistleblower. Good thing yeah. that you were the whistleblower. Yeah. And, and you know, uh, you're brave and you're able to stand up to that. And you were or brave stupid. enough to get. <laughs> no, not, not sure. at all. And you were brave enough to get out of that uh, toxic situation. Yes. Right. And it, it got better, but it was still just never the same after that. You know, I mean, it did, sure. it did calm down, but it was still never the same. And, and, uh, and getting out of that toxic situation, what, whenever I was, I just had such a hard time deciding to take the leap, to, to dare to mm -hmm. leap. And I, yeah. uh, <laughs> So luckily I had gotten in the Sapphires group and I had Jennifer Tamborski is my coach in there. And I just kept debating because I didn't want to leave and make less money. And I didn't want to, I was just afraid basically. Sure. And so I unknown. talked to her. Yeah. The unknown. And I, so I talked to her about it and we sat down and I know you've said this before in different things, but we ran the numbers and the whole thing came out like a hundred dollars difference in wages. And I was like, well, how stupid, <laughs> what am I worrying <laughs> for? Because yeah. if I stay home and don't have to wear decent clothes and I don't have to drive my car and I can save a hundred dollars. And really right. that's that it was a non-issue. And so then with, with her and my other people in the Sapphires group, Julie Trombley was one of them that was a major pusher for me. <laughs> <laughs> which is good uh -huh. but they helped me have the courage to to do that and I don't think I would have done it if it hadn't been for the group so you need that network and you need all those people behind you because it makes a huge difference in your life and they told me after that that they said you just seem so much happier and we're so glad uh -huh. you did it so so yeah. am I are you do I, you feel happier do you feel yeah, are you glad that you made that I'm move? glad my hours are a little odd because it's I work in Denver time and we're in central time, but really, mm -hmm. I, you know, it's not that much difference. I work from nine to six, basically, and mm -hmm. so it makes dinner a little later, but I'm a late night person anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, well, that works out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's good. And now you have a whole new career and you have insurance and yes, all great. of that good stuff. So I'm really, really proud of everything that you've accomplished. I want to go back to something that you said, because I'm sure people are like, what was all that about Sapphires and Jennifer? And oh, the group? yeah, yeah. So um, uh, just so as everybody knows, when you become part of the virtual expert community, as you continue to grow your business, there are opportunities to become part of additional mastermind groups. And Kelly was 
personally invited into our mastermind program called Sapphires. And um, it's a really special group with about, I don't know, 10 people in it. Yeah, I think there's eight or nine. Yeah. Yeah. And Jennifer Tamborski is the coach of that. She's a fabulous coach. And they all work together. They meet together. They support each other, just like Kelly was mentioning. So, Kelly, do you see that that's an advantage to you to be in that specialized group? Definitely it is, because it seems like we all have the same kind of troubles at the same, or or maybe not exactly the same time, but we've all been through the same thing, so we can talk each other through it, or somebody will have an idea. It's, It's just really good, and it's good for networking and lots of other things. Morale, morale mostly, I think, is the biggest key. Yeah. But... Yeah. So, um, and Erica, she's in that group too. Is Erica in that group? Um, no, I no, think she Erica. might be in the, okay. is she in the diamonds? She might be in the diamonds. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So just everybody, there's three different levels. There's Sapphire, diamonds, and emeralds. And depending on where you are in your business is where you are in that mastermind level and how fast you want to grow. So Kelly, I just want to congratulate you on continuing to invest in yourself and your business because, um, have you seen growth in yourself? Yes, <laughs> definitely. And, yeah. you know, whenever I first started in 2019, and even at the end of last year, before I, when I was working on getting my VE certification, I would have never dreamed that I'd be sitting here at home doing a job, you know. And then I also have four other clients besides my 40 hour a week job. So, and I love Woo-hoo! every one of them. So I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to work that all in. And, and my, I have talked to the doctor before and he, he just told me he wants to so- support me as much as he can in my having my own business. But mm-hmm. please tell me before That's you sweet. decide you're just going to leave. <laughs> and I've said, well, I wouldn't just leave. So anyway, he, I think he's worried, but that's okay. I, I wouldn't just leave him. I really like him. I, of course you wouldn't just leave him. You're, you're not that kind of person. But isn't that nice that he said, yeah, I want to support you in having your own business if that's what you want. I mean, that's yeah. the kind of um, employer you want, isn't it? And he tells me all the time that he'll help me in business if, you know, any kind of business things I need. And uh, it's just great to have somebody that, that backs you like that. And yeah. that you feel like he, he understands what you're doing and, and, but you know, that communication goes both ways. You, cause he's known from the start that that's what was going to, you know, the, that's the idea behind it. So it wasn't a surprise to him. Mm-hmm. So right. you, you have to communicate, but yeah. And your four other clients, what kind of work do you do for them? Well, one of them, let's see. Two of them I do social media posting or then like uh, I send one, I send out some newsletters and then there's more stuff, Instagram, little squares I make for her. And then one, I just do the things that she doesn't have time to do. Whenever she gets them, she'll send me some things to do. And one, one, my other lady, I need to work on her website sometimes whenever she has a problem. So, <laughs> but that's, that's what I do. So, yeah. And what I hear you describing um, is you work for these four other clients on an as needed basis. So when they need work, you're there to support them. When they don't need work, you're not charging them anything. You only charge based on what time they actually need you to do that yeah, work. Is that's that right? right. That the, one of the yeah. social media ones I do, I just have a package with them, a package deal. I do so okay. many posts a month and it's a nonprofit mm-hmm. and they're in St. Louis. <laughs> and oh, wow, I really, cool. Yeah, I like them. They're, they're, uh, they're like an over 60 center kind of, and, and uh, it's mostly African-Americans, but they're really sweet. I love all of them and they're just really great to work with. So that's it's, fabulous. Yeah. But yeah. I, I don't know. There are most of, there's one on the East Coast. One, that one's in, uh, I guess there's two on the East Coast. And then we have the one in Central Time. And then I have another one in California. So, 
well, you are really all over the place. You're still all in the U.S. though. So yeah. you haven't gone overseas yet. You haven't, you don't have anybody in London yet. Lori no. Dennison in our group, she works with somebody in London. Oh, wow. Yeah. That yeah. would be interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Kelly, people who are listening to this right now going, wow, she seems amazingly busy. She must not have any room to take on new clients. Do you, do you feel like you have room to take on new clients? Uh, what if somebody's listening to this and wants to talk to you about potentially working with you? Well, I do. I just have to plan my time really well. And I can mm -hmm. do that because most of the things I take on don't have to be done during the week and I can do them after hours. So that's, that's what I usually plan on doing, but I do have some leeway too, because I can be honest with my employer. If I get to the point where I want to cut a day, then mm -hmm. that can happen too. So, yeah. So you have the flexibility to modify your schedule as needed and fit in these clients and get the work done based on their deadlines and their needs. Yeah, I do. And that's one of the good things about it. Um, you know, you, I, you can't do that when you work for someone outside and, and they don't understand what you're trying to do. So I think that that's right. You just have a lot more flexibility when you can do something like this. And that's what I feel like I gave myself was more flexibility to build my business where I didn't have that before. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, while you are an employee, you, you get to work remotely. You don't have a boss looking over your shoulder all the time. Right. Sometimes I feel yeah. like I work harder <laughs> as a remote employee than I did whenever I was in the building. <laughs> but, but, you know, that's my own doing because there's nobody here telling me to do it otherwise. So that's right. And that's because you have an excellent work ethic. Yeah. And, and it's hard. I mean, really, if you're not used to working like that, you know, if you just, if you have the idea that working as a virtual assistant is just sitting at home and doing whatever you want to, when you want to, well, then you're in the wrong business because <laughs> <laughs> that's not what it's about. It's really hard work and you have to be disciplined and you have to, to call these people back and you have to do what, what it takes no matter what, you know, so. And it's really re yeah. rewarding more than anything. And you, and you can feel, I just feel proud that I'm able to do it. And yeah, I don't know. I'm proud I, of I just, you too. <laughs> I'm very here, proud I'm, of you. And I don't I'm want sure to talk about husband, myself. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm glad you said a couple of little things about yourself. I'm glad your husband, I'm sure your husband is proud of you. I'm sure your kids and grandkids are proud of you too. What do they think about grandma being a business owner? Oh, they think it's home. great. And one of my daughters, um, she's going to, she's been going to school for coding for medical coding and she wants to work from oh. home, but I don't know, yeah. you know, that's, that's a whole nother thing, but, mm -hmm. um, and then the other one is really creative. And so I'm thinking, oh, I can think of some stuff she could work for me for. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Exactly. I've already got to put my kid to work. <laughs> no, but, I think that's excellent. She's um, really know, artsy. Uh, artsy. Yeah. Creative. It, it, that's awesome because social media, graphics, uh, website graphics. I mean, that is highly needed. You know that we use a lot of that. We have a lot of yeah. people in our group that specialize in those type of things or video editing or audio editing. There's a lot of things that people with uh, who are very creative, um, visually creative can do in this industry. Yeah, there are. Yeah. But, you know, so you're you actually creating jobs for people, Kelly. I know. I just was thinking about that because, you know, when you work for someone else, you can't create a job for someone, but you can if it's nope. for you, because if you need That's help right. with something, it you can you can get it set up yeah. for them. So. That's right. You know, we have several people in our virtual expert community who have their children working with them or their spouses working with them. Yeah. Uh, Marie I Wadier, don't think the spouse has, would work. Has, <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. 
<laughs> my spouse definitely would. We worked together for one week when I very first started my business and was getting really busy. We worked together for one week. And I mean, we clashed. No. Um, we're both first born. We're both. Oh, so are we. Are you? Oh, that's yeah. so interesting. Yeah. Because he was in here trying oh, to help hard. me do something and he was getting, I'd be like, why don't you just follow the instructions? And he's <laughs> like, well, you're not telling me right. I said, good Lord. <laughs> That, I don't, and, and he you know said, what? we're not ever working together. I'm, I said, no, we're not. Yeah. That's for sure. All right. That sounds exactly like my husband and I, Kelly. We had, for one week, we had exactly those kinds of uh, words <laughs> to say to each other before I said, this ain't working. I will go back to work on my business by myself. <laughs> and you yeah, no, go and, I, and be the house husband. I kept and thinking, that was, you know, you can just do this. It's easy. And then, no, right. no. Never mind. Right. Yeah. I, and I do, I am a little bit jealous of those people who can work with their spouse because, yeah. you know, then you keep all the money in your household. Yeah, but that would be I, great. I know, but it's not worth it for the no. fights. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's not worth it. That's not worth it. Um, and your husband sounds a little bit like mine. Mine is so not techie. He will destroy a computer in seconds because if it says download, he just clicks download and then he's got, you know, spyware and oh, no. viruses and everything else on his computer. Yeah, so. he doesn't get on computer very much. He, in <laughs> fact, he gave me his laptop, but but he used to be on there. That's why I don't understand why he, but I think he retired. So his brain probably retired too. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. He just doesn't want to think I, about I, that anymore. So I don't blame him for that. That's exactly how my husband is when he, my husband retired very early. He retired at the age of 50. Um, Cause you know, I said, you want to retire? And he's like, yeah. And so he did. And um, so he takes care of the stuff that he enjoys doing now, you know, like yeah. he likes to piddle around in, in his workshop, in the garage. He likes to cook. He doesn't like to clean. Yeah. That, that is sound, this sounds exactly, <laughs> they must yeah. be brothers. Do you think they're brothers or cousins? Or? Well, they're, they're both Missourians. So yeah. 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 So we both have on our swag, our yeah. virtual expert swag today. And we both have on the one that says together we rise higher. We all rise higher. Yeah. And yeah, and that's because of the community that we are both in, this virtual expert community that we've been talking about, which, you know, we all really support each other. So how does it feel to be part of a community like that, Kelly? Well, it's really great because you have a place to go when you need help with something. If, if something you're working on is not working or you can ask for advice or what program do you use to do this and you get a lot of good answers in there and lots of good help because we have a lot of people that know lots of things. So it's, it's just a great community. And I, yeah, we have I, a lot of really smart women and a handful are. of really smart men. Everybody okay. in the community is really smart. We just, we just have about uh, 200 women and five men. Yeah, I was going to say we're getting more <laughs> men, but not that many more. Yeah, so. we are. We are getting a few more men. I think they're finally going, hey, what is this whole um, working from home virtual assistant thing? Maybe we yeah, should check into that. Maybe that wasn't manly. I don't know. Back before. The yeah, because in COVID. the past they thought of it as a secretary, right? Yeah, I think they did think that it was a secretary because yeah. people are, I don't think my old boss that not the bad one, but the, the one that came <laughs> after him. I don't think he ever really understood what I was leaving to go do because he was just like, is that really legitimate? He just kept asking, it, does she really have a job? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't and think I'm, they laughing really... on, I'm laughing only because the majority of the world does not understand the majority of the world doesn't understand um, what it really is like to be a virtual assistant, what it really is like to have your own business and do this. And um, as a result, um, being part of a community with other people who are doing the same thing as you are, it makes it so much easier because there are people there who you don't have to say, yes, this is legitimate. Yes. I'm really making mm -hmm. a great income. And they understand, and you don't yes. get that out in the public. 
I mean, they just kind of look at you with a blank stare, like, oh, yeah, okay. (laughs) (laughs) Whatever. (laughs) Yeah. My mother would always ask me, do you still have that little typing job? And (laughs) I just had given up on telling her, you know, what it was I actually did. And I would just say, yep, still have it. (laughs) It's easier that way. It is. I know because, well, my mother never even owned a computer, much less used one. So the thought of working on a computer in, on any level and making money was just hard for her to imagine. And that's why she knew I typed on, on something. <laughs> well, that's, and when it first started, I think we mostly did type on the computer, but mm-hmm. there's so much yeah. more now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So Kelly, um, people who are listening to this, who are like, Oh, that Kelly, I like her. She is so kind and generous and obviously really smart and good at what she does. I'd like to talk with her about potentially hiring her. How do people get a hold of you? Well, I just use this email address. It's Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, D, Harris, H-A-R-R-I-S, 99 at gmail.com. That's the one I look at the most. So I'll, I will answer it if you send it. So... So email Kelly D D is that a di- middle name, middle it's initial like, D is not as in dog. Cause I know you're not a dog, <laughs> but it's D yeah. It's D N. Yeah. Oh, I like yeah. that. Kelly D N. I might have to start calling you that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm called Kelly. Harris at the doctor's office because there's a Kelly D N oh. and a Kelly Diane. Now we have two oh, Kelly's. My. So that is unbelievable. <laughs> Okay. And last so, names are the only thing that's different, really. Yeah. So Kelly D. Harris, what was the number? Kelly D. Harris. 99. 99 at gmail.com. Right. And let Kelly know that you're interested in having a conversation with her. Um, and she will schedule a time to talk with you. And you guys can see if you're a good match. And if she could help you with your website help you with social media or any other types of support you might need. If you can't tell, I highly recommend Kelly Harris. Kelly, thank you so much for being here today. Oh, thanks for having me. I've enjoyed it. I haven't really talked to you in a while, so it's been fun. I know. This is great. This is the only way I get time to talk to people sometimes now is on a podcast. <laughs> we'll have to, now, see, you told me I'd probably want to schedule another one. Now I'll have to, I'll have to do Yay! another one just to talk to you. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I'm going to tell you right now, if you write that book about your experience um, oh, in your former career, I'll even have a fictionalized to be behind version. like a little black box. <laughs> With it can be, names can be <laughs> names can be changed to protect the guilty <laughs> there we go yeah <laughs> yeah um, i'm telling you right now that book would sell like hot eggs <laughs> it would be so interesting well, and you can't you, you can't could, make that stuff up i'm telling you <laughs> that's right and i'm telling you right now also it would become a lifetime movie it would oh become, gosh you yeah, know that it, become it is a lifetime one of those movie. yes it sounds like one of those actually <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You could become a millionaire from writing this book. And, well, maybe and, I better get on that then. And leasing the rights or whatever that's called um, yeah. to, uh, I've never written a book that has ever become, uh, uh, been optioned as a movie. That's the word, <laughs> option. I watch a lot of movies. <laughs> yeah, me Does too. Does that count? Does that count if you watch a lot know. of movies? <laughs> I'd vote for it. Yeah. Uh, Well, Kelly, um, thank you so much. And I look forward to interviewing you the next time. Okay. Well, thank you, Kathy. Thank you for listening to Dare to Leap. Say hello and access additional resources at virtualexperttraining.com. There you'll be able to connect with Kathy to share your feedback and join her community. Join us again soon on Dare to Leap. Until then. (laughs) 